Hello, I'm Ethan Makla. Welcome to the video production lab safety series. In part one, we went over how to set up a Speedatron light. And now in part two, we're gonna go over basic operation and how to set up more than one light. To set up multiple lights, repeat the process. Plug the second cable into the second A slot. Speedo heads have two bulbs, the modeling light and the flash tube. Try not to let anything touch the bulb and make sure to check for cracks. Ensure the switch on the side of the light is on. If the switch is on, but the modeling light is not, tell a lab assistant immediately. There's a fan on the back of the strobe that keeps everything from overheating. Make sure not to touch the body of the light while everything is on. It does get hot. You can use the modeling light to get an idea of how the flash will look on your subject before firing. Plug the sink cable into the power box and the other end of the cable into the hot shoe adapter. The arrow on top of the hot shoe adapter should face the lens. Finally, tighten the clamping nut onto your camera to hold it in place. With everything plugged in, you can hit the shutter on your camera to test the strobe. If the flash doesn't fire, double check all of the sync cable's connections. Some Canon cameras have a new style of hot shoe that requires a specific adapter. If this is the case, use someone else's camera or ask a lab assistant for help. Start with these settings on your camera and then adjust for the scene. Keep your shutter speed at 1 over 250 to match the speed of the light. If you go above this, the light will get cut off in your photo. To adjust the intensity of the strobe, use the power level knob. You can reduce the intensity of the light up to two and a half stops with quarter stops in between. Always turn off the power box before changing the power level. Plugging two lights into A will equally distribute the power, making their brightness the same. Using the setting A plus B plus C we mentioned in the last video, all additional lights you plug in will be the same brightness. In part four, we'll explain varying power levels. Remember, before firing the strobe, the modeling light should be on, sync cable should be properly seated into the hot shoe, and the settings on your power box should be adjusted. And that's all for part two. In part three, we'll cover light modifiers and ways to change the strobes. Bye. I, I hate that so much. <laughs>